You know, I think the biggest thing is, is just, I mean, you're always trying to get better. And, you know, what are you specifically doing? A lot of times, nothing. I mean, what you, what you want to do is you want to keep doing what you're doing or whatever you're doing, try to do it better. I mean, that's the biggest thing is you just want to keep, you want to keep moving as a team. You don't want to level off. You, you, you don't want to take a step back. I mean, there's a lot of things that play into it. And um, we've had a couple of good weeks right now, but again, it's only two weekends. And, uh, you know, we got 15 more weekends left. So uh, that's going to be, you know, that that's, that's the challenge. That's the challenge every year um, just to keep getting better and uh, not to take a step back. And there's going to be obviously moments that you're going to take some a step back, but you don't want to do it too long. It might be a period or a couple periods or just maybe spurts during the game. But uh, that's the biggest thing, I think, Tyler, is that we just want to, we just want to make sure we're sharp and, uh, again, we're, 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 we're getting better and uh, we're, we're hard to play against and we're doing a lot of the things that we want our guys to do that we're doing those, those specific things well. Well, our energy, our energy level right now has been high and our, our puck pressure has been high. Our reloading has been really good. It's, it's, it's the, like I told the guys, we're the, it's the best reloading team we've had probably in five or six years. So, I mean, there's, there's areas of our game where we really like it, but you got to keep it going. And, and, and there are areas that it's hard to – a lot of these things – energy is hard to sustain, guys. It's just – it's not easy. And if you are – if you're off, if you're off just a little bit, you're one step – if you're one step slow, and yeah, that's the world of difference in this sport, in any sport for that matter, when speed is such a critical component um, in, you know, in the game. So we just want to make sure, too, where our, our work ethic is strong, our habits are good, and – if those are if if those are in check, we're you know we're going to have some good games. But if they're not, it's like anybody, you, you know, look out. So that's the biggest thing that you, you you're probably it's the biggest thing that we're looking at and we're you know and trying to maintain. Yeah, for sure, Christian. Absolutely, it's a good question. Um, you do get more done at home, and uh, you just have you have more time. When you have more time, you you know, and that might only be one more hour, for example. But still, sometimes again whether it's a half hour, 15 minutes, 45 minutes or an hour, um, it's, 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 it's a lot sometimes, whether it's a little more video, whether it's a little more time on, a, on, a, on special teams, whatever it might be. So, and I, I think as a coach, when you're at home, you feel probably that you're more prepared because you've actually, you, you, you've been able to do the, the things that you want to do sometimes. And sometimes it's overkill anyway, but we as coaches want to make sure too, that everything's off our plate. And, um, Sometimes I was talking to a colleague of mine last night, and he made a good point. He goes, sometimes practice uh, to a certain degree is overrated, and he's right. Sometimes you can, sometimes practice can be overkill, too. So you have to know, you know how long you should go, when do you have to take some time off, um, how are things looking at that specific time. So there's just a lot of things that play into it. But, uh, you know, it's our job to monitor that and make sure that our guys are prepared the best uh, to do well on Friday night and Saturday night. Well, I, I think we're excited about that. I mean, we are embracing that. We're playing a whether St. Cloud's second in the country or twenty second in the country, you embrace it anyway. It's an in-state rivalry, um, and you know it's a, it's been a great rivalry over the years. Whether it's at the Division One level or, or the small college level, I mean, we've we've battled a lot over the course of uh, the last fifty, sixty years. So, and that's kind of how I look at it a little bit too. Um, the big picture right there, but no, it's exciting to play. It's exciting to be at home and. It's a home and home, so it's a little different, a little different uh, from their perspective and our perspective. Um, I think the biggest difference is probably the strength of the guys and the structure of the game. Um, biggest thing is keeping it simple. I think using my intangibles like my speed, my legs, allows me to create stuff for myself and just using my energy. And then I got a great line mates that that help me do that every every night. Um, yeah, I'd say so. I felt comfortable coming in. Um, that's a big reason I. I came here, I thought I'd have a good role, and coaches put me in that role and gave me a lot of confidence. But I think last weekend was a little bit of a surprise, but obviously a good feeling. Yeah, um, I just keep doing what I've, what's gotten me there. I mean, using my speed, keeping it simple, just like coach coach wants me to. And, and I think if I keep doing that, things good things are going to happen. Um, I think our forecheck's been really good, um, making D turn pucks over. And then obviously when they do get the puck, our reloads have been great, getting back and quick offense off of that. Um, and then once you get it from there, just keep it simple, get pucks deep and work to the net, funneling pucks. Um, I think I think we've been obviously really tight off the ice. And then the older guys have made it really easy for us to come in and mesh with them. Um, I think early on, coaches tried to mesh an older guy with a younger guy, whether that's in practice or off the ice, which which helps a lot. Um, and we grow together. So it's been good. 
Um, whether it's off ice or on ice, everybody's including everything, whether it's hanging out at the guys' houses or going out for a grab lunch or anything, really working on drills after practice. And they're always, they're always welcoming for us younger guys and the younger guys want to work with the older guys too. Um, yeah, it's been a little odd, just a lot of practice. Um, obviously we're ready to get going here, play a lot of games. Um, the road trip was great though. Fun road trip, obviously good to get a couple wins and I think now we're ready to get in a rhythm.